I had the chance to go to the world premiere last night and see the movie there, and uh, it was quite emotional. I thought it was amazing, and, and I'm curious, did you sit with the audience and, and watch the film with them? I did. And that's the first time I've seen that. I've only seen it on a 10-inch computer screen with, while we were going through the editing, so that was the first time I got to see it on a big screen, uh, and the first time I saw it with anybody. What was your reaction? I had a good reaction to it. I mean, I, I one, I, it was great to see the detail, because <laughs> I had never seen it before on my computer screen and uh, uh, things that I couldn't make. And I had never heard it with the sound, sound design, et cetera, either. Mm. Um, I like the movie, and I think, it, I think it really works on, as an important movie, but a highly entertaining movie as well. And I, I, liked how, I liked how at the beginning, a lot of people were almost, some of the stuff Ron says, they were afraid to laugh. <laughs> and they were afraid to laugh until Eve and Rayon got back at Ron. And once yeah. they got back at him, then when Ron said some of his stuff that's so out of bounds, yeah, they yeah. felt like they were able to laugh at it, you know? During the, the intro, uh, the director was talking about the fact that he had, I think, 25 hours of, of audio to listen to um, from Ron. Did you have a chance to listen to that as well? And, and oh, did, yeah. And how much did it help, you know, with the character? Well, it, it helped a lot. What I had to disseminate was you have Ron talking about himself mm. sort of in retrospect. And people talk about themselves a little differently <laughs> than maybe they were. Mm. But then I got a hold of his diary. And that was a, a real secret, kind of a key for me. Because that gave me the monologue of the guy before he had HIV. Um, not talking about himself. In the, in, the, in the tapes, he's talking about himself when he's running the Dallas Pirates Club. Mm. So he's pitching why, he should, why he's right, why alternative medicine is the way to go, why, how he can mix the right cocktail, how it's kept him alive, why you shouldn't take the AZT. So he's partially selling as well. Yeah. But the diary, he wasn't selling anything. He was wondering what the hell he was going to do with his life. Did it feel like it was two different people? Did it feel no, like... No, 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 same guy. Because actually, Ron, he only he found purpose in his life when he got HIV. And the purpose be, became, how do I survive? How long can I live? Yeah. And before that, he really, he was kind of lost and wandering and lonely. Well, really quickly, I was talking to Jennifer and she was talking about the fact that you had shot this in 27 days, yeah. and she said it was the quickest film she's ever made in her life. Like Easily, yeah. And, and for you, did that help? Did that sort of free you up even more? I mean, I know you've made a number of independent films recently, but did well, this... Well, what, what helps about it is that from day one, once you start, mm -hmm. to day 27, you never really come up for air. You never really come up and get objective about the situation, mm. you know? So I've stayed subjective the whole time. What helps is that you show up in the morning to work and you don't leave the set until the day is over and someone tells you we're done. That's helpful because you get to stay in it and there's no demarcation between behind the camera and front of the camera. Okay, we're setting up, go back to your trailer. The entrances and exits are gone, you're in. And that's, that's helpful to me. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.